When will that be? A harvest for the people. When will there be a harvest for the world now? Lord, when will there be a harvest for your people? A harvest for the world now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me. With me, with me, with me. Your illustrious host, Kadia. You know, I've heard a lot of people say to me, um, when it comes to talking about the conflicts that's going on in this world, it's not my fight. You know, it's not my fight. It's not your fight, it's especially if you're African-American, whatever that means. Um, but it's not our fight. It's not our fight. And that's really sad to me when I uh, asked them why. Well, because nobody get behind our, our um, Holocaust. Nobody gets behind our, first of all, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I don't think we should ever lose sight of we are the mother and father of all living human beings. We are the first people God made. The first people that graced this planet were black people. Civilizations and expansion and branching out, which is what human beings do by nature, is what caused some of us to be the way we are. It's amazing to me that you can see birds and understand that that's the, you know, the aviary. What they call it, aviary? Um, you know, section of life. You can see the the uh, the the predators. You can see the prey. But you can't see who you are, and for you and for somebody to tell me, I don't uh, um, stay out of it. Well, that's not how I see myself. And if I belong to the human family. That means whether I like it or not, there are wayward people in the human family. And they need to be dealt with, but they don't they're not they're not not held accountable because you keep out of it. They are held accountable because you won't sit down because you keep coming and if that's one thing about the dominable spirit of the African of the first human beings that graced this planet was that you can't kill the God in us okay we can't allow that to happen so now I'm not saying that you should lose your job, saying that support Palestine. That's all personal decisions of what you do. But I don't think that as a human being that wants to preserve humanity, not just black people, not just uh, white people or Mexican people, all of us in the human family, the rainbow of the human family, 
God made us into tribes and families that we may get to know each other, not antagonize one another, not be disrespectful to one another, not to hate on one another, okay? When you are operating off that type of stimulus, then you need to remove yourself from the human family. You need to remove yourself. Because if you don't, then the universe is going to set up where that's going to happen anyway. The universe is undefeated. And all I'm saying is, what a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If y'all keep running around here thinking that we are supposed to be a part of the human family and we want people to uh, treat us and recognize us with respect, then don't think that because somebody hold you accountable for how you treat your family, for how you have no respect for your place in society, um, other than a push filth and degrades and stuff like that, we are much more than that. And when you start seeing yourself as much more than that, then you realize you do have you have a a a, a voice that can say I don't like spending my tax dollars on um, weapons of mass destruction. It's okay to say that, or is 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 we in a situation where you go? In a time on the planet where the line is drawn in the sand. See, there can't be no more leak lukewarm. Either you hot or you cold. You can't uh, talk about, um, well, I think this how. You have to be precise and you have to set acute boundaries. Know who you are. Know what you're doing. It's that time on the planet right now. And I don't think that somebody's saying to me that it's not my fight. I'm a human being, and humanity is my fight. It really is. Okay? And I, I just don't know where that, that mindset comes from. Because to me, I don't think it's the truth. That's on a, That's just my opinion. I mean, did you see... Did you see the phenomena that happened when George Floyd got the life snuffed out of him? Did you see did you see the world stand up? Huh? And you think that was lost just because that was one incident? Or do you think that the world is waiting for the black man and black woman to take their rightful place? Huh? Because we're not doing a good job of showing up either. Hell, the information that we just got over the last week and a half ago let you know just how far we are from um, righteous kings and queens and that we on a race uh, to the bottom type of uh, mentality. Just the episodes and shit that's done happened this week alone to show you how far and how full of degradance that we are. But then we're going to talk about we want to isolate ourselves and something ain't our fight. Think, I think that's just the opposite. I think that we should elevate ourselves. And I think that we ought to start looking at ourselves as a um, where we fit in on the scale of the universe. Okay? And that's just my humble opinion and my rant for the day. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. This world is supposed to be shared. It's supposed to be shared. We need a harvest. We need a harvest for the world, like the Isley Brothers said. Before it's too late and we destroy it all. All right. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for listening. See you in the next one.